So here we are with the 2011 Audi S4. Just yesterday, I'm driving around town and this alarm went off on the gauge cluster. Now you'll notice there are two things happening here. Number one, the fuel tank symbol is on, but also look at the gauge itself. It's showing there's no fuel in the tank. Now I know there's plenty of fuel in the tank because a few days ago I added fuel and I was roughly between half and three quarters of a tank. So that's not the issue. Let's see if we could dig up the problem using a scan tool. So I have the scan tool hooked up, but I may have an issue. This does have the latest software, but it's not an engine or emissions problem. It has nothing to do with the steering angle. It has nothing to do with the ABS or airbag system. So I don't know if this will even pick up the trouble code, but let me go through it and see if I can track it down. So this is the main system, and if I scroll down into read codes, pending, permanent, or stored, nothing is coming up. So I really have two options now at this point. I can purchase dealer software. It's around 250 bucks. You hook it up to a laptop, but I do have something else that may work. Now this is something I showed a month ago. Carly sent this to me. I uploaded a video regarding how it works, how to maintain, repair your own vehicle, so on and so forth. That has already been uploaded and you can check that out if you like. But this may work because it's software that is made specifically for this vehicle. Let's give it a shot. So now we can open the app. I have the code reader plugged into the vehicle. Health, and let's see, instrument cluster, one issue. And, the, oh, fantastic. Fuel supply sensor two. And then in parentheses, G169, it even tells me the mileage of when it occurred. Okay, so now we need to look up specifically what is sensor 2 G169. So I'm doing some research, and it looks like this vehicle has two fuel sensors. Let me show you. So we have two fuel sensors. There's one right here that's attached to the fuel pump. The fuel pump lives underneath the rear seats. Then there's another fuel sensor completely separate that lives underneath the trunk mat so now i know precisely what the problem is so if you look at number 19 let's scroll down to what number 19 is fuel level sensor 2g169 so i know precisely what the sensor looks like where it lives and what is required to fix this vehicle now at this point, I would typically show on how to test the sensor. You always want to double check everything. Maybe there's a problem with the wiring and the sensor is fine, but I need a new sensor. I want a new sensor to compare the values with, and I don't have that new sensor yet. I just ordered it from the dealership. So that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. The next video on this vehicle will be replacing that sensor, which is not going to be easy because the top cover is glued to the floor of the trunk pan. It's glued from the factory, so it has to be cut out. And what if you cut it out and damage the paint? You have to add new paint or replace the paint. And you know why Audi did this, I have no idea, but this is the way it is. So once I have those parts, I'll follow up, we'll wrap it up. And as always, thank you for watching.